Yo, yo, we are back in our FX. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how to create this flicker text right here. It's pretty simple to do and it looks so cool. And I also like to shout out my guy Invalid because he was the first one to do this effect. He uses it like a signature effect of his. And I really love the way he uses the effect as well. So I'll link his Instagram down below so you can check it out. And also while you're there, just follow me as well because I'm trying to get to the 3K follower, you know. But anyways, let's just get into the video. So we now fx you can see i have this clip right here which we're gonna add the text on so firstly to start off we're just gonna make a text layer obviously so right click on blank space go to this is new and just hit text right here and right here just write your text so i'm gonna write something like text here or some shit and here you can write anything your title your like lyrics you want to point out like invalid really uses this effect with the lyrics like synced in with the lyrics of the song so it looks so hard so you can do that as well but after your text is done just hit Control alt home in your keyboard to bring the anchor point into the center and then you can just scale up this text layer so it just like fits the scene right here and i'm also going to trim it around the middle so it so it comes in where the slow-mo kicks in so around like here then now we're going to start adding the flicker animation in here so for that just open up your text properties right here open up text and where it says animate right here add a opacity and it will add this new animator right here go over to range selector so in animator we firstly gonna go over to opacity and just set it to zero firstly and now we're gonna open up the range selector right here go over to where it says start and hit the stopwatch right here put the first keyframe on the first frame so around like here and go like few frame forward so around like and just bring it up to 100 right here then we'll have this like simple typing animation right here but now to spice it up and to add the flicker just go over to where it says advanced and at the last right here you can see a value called randomize order just turn that on right there and in randomize seed right here holding alt in the keyboard just click the stopwatch and just add a expression here we're gonna add a simple expression called time asterisk 30 right here and just click out then easily after that we can see we have this flickering text going on now you can select this star keyframe and ease those and go into graph and just make it a little smoother right here so it comes in a little smoothly so something right there yeah i guess that looks hard yeah that looks hard then now you can see we have this text animation right here now we'll start adding the animated black bars in it so so just right click on a blank space go to new and just create a solid firstly right here and make sure in color it is black and just hit ok then in the solid add an effect called cc jaws and now in here if you play around with the completion we have this like spike animation right here as you can see spikes but we basically want it like a rectangle so just go to where it says shape and just set it to block right here and it will instantly turn it into like blocks but we are still not done yet go to where it says height now and just set it to zero or uh, zero right here and what it will do is just create a straight line right there as you can see so with the cc jaws you can see we have the black bars going on like the cinematic black bars but in here what we're gonna do is animate the completion so hit the stop button completion uh, around like here i want the animation to complete and around like here i want the animation to start so right around where you want to start the animation just bring the completion to 100 uh maybe i must slide the keyframe a little bit like over here and then you can select both of these keyframes and easy those now select those keyframe go into graph and just make a tight graph like this in here so something like this so the so the black bars comes in right when the like the flickering text comes in or uh, maybe we're gonna set the black bars something like this so now with the black bars you can see we have the basic look going on but of course we're gonna spice it up so firstly what i like to do is like select my original clip and add like a hue and saturation firstly in there and hit the stop was in color range right here and bring up the keyframe go over to where the text animation completes and just set the saturation to minus 100 so it's pretty much like black and white right when the text comes in right there and in the text as well you can add like different effect in here so what i like to add is a deep glow and just bring up the radius of the deep glow and just hit unmold to remove the blacks and just lower down the amount as well i actually mean the exposure so lower down the exposure and with it a really cool effect you can also add is optics compensation in here and put this before the deep glow actually 
so put this before the deep goal and just bring up the field of view right here what it will do is add the optic compensation right there you can scale it down a little bit and bring up the compensation so something right there so as you can see with that that looks super hard even if you like you can add like a rough and edges and put this before the deep glow as well to give some rough and edges to your text if you like so something like there now as you can see that looks hard but if you have my essential effect you can use that to spice it up as well so of course i'll be using that so to add the preset i'm just gonna create a new edges planner right here and just put this before the black solid and go over to where i want the effect to happen so around like here and then go over to animation presets go over to user preset right here and in essential effects i'm gonna open up my essential effect and from here i'm probably gonna use something like a uh, chroma transition one then after you add the preset in there you can hit u on your keyboard to bring out the keyframe and just align it right here so around like here so it just kicks in when the like the text animation comes in so around like there preset actually looks super hard with all those like chroma effects as you can see it makes it a little more smoother you can even you can even extend some of these keyframes to get like different look and results so you can really like play around with it for real like after the essential effect we have this like really cool chroma going on so if you want to download essential effect i'll link it in the description it's actually one of my favorite packs that i ever made it is so so dope like comes with 40 plus presets like these for your music video especially if you are on like the stylized side like stylized type of effect like i am it will be like a great help so i'll link it in the description if you want to check it out but getting back into the effect in the background you can add some like particle overlays so if you have something like a particle overlay you can see i just downloaded this like particle overlay from so i'm just gonna drag this on our timeline and put this before all of our text and all of our crop and all that shit and i'm gonna toggle the season more set the blending mode to screen then you can just play with the timing so it just like comes in when all the text and say comes in right there then you can even add like a hue and saturation and just desaturate it you know so something like there then now then now after that if you play through that looks cool but lastly we're gonna select all of these and just pre-comp all of these into a single layer move all attributes and hit ok and now in the pre-comp hit s to bring up the scale and hit the stop button the scale right here and put this keyframe around the end and you can move the anchor point to your artist face and just scale it in so we have a zoom animation going on then you can easy ease those keyframes go into graph and just make a graph like this right here so a really tight graph right here would help and now if you play through you can see with that zooms add a lot more dynamic to our footage but anyways our final result looks something like this so if you like this video please consider the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this because i keep consistently dropping sauce like this on my channel so i really appreciate it and check out my digital store if you want to download some magic packs but i'ma see you on the next one peace